Hello everybody, this is Pika Klapper from Biochem Snacks, the bite-sized video snacks for all bioscientists. Have fun! Is a compound protonated or not at a given pH? Well, this is a very common question. And um, what we can write, for example, is we have a compound, let's say HA, and this would be the protonated form because it has a proton here. And of course, it can give off a proton and becomes the unprotonated form. That's uh, this one here. So if we have a certain pH, the question is, is this compound predominantly in the protonated form or is it in the unprotonated form? And to answer this question, what we can use is the uh, famous henderson hasselbalch equation. So pH equals pKa, that is the dissociation constant for this uh, acid reaction, minus the log of the protonated form, the acid, so acid, which is the protonated form, divided by the concentration of the base, which is, of course, the unprotonated form. And I abbreviate it like that. So we can rearrange this equation and we can say, uh, we bring this to this side, we bring this to that side, and we have log of the protonated form divided by the unprotonated form equals pKa minus pH. And uh, that's uh, fairly easy then uh, to solve. So uh, let's see what would happen if we have, say, a pKa. Uh, let's say that is 4 and the pH is 5. Let's see what happens. We would get log protonated divided by the concentration of the unprotonated form equals 4 minus 5 and uh, that, of course, is minus 1. And we now can ask not what is the log of this, but what is the uh, actual ratio of protonated to unprotonated. So we take both sides, 10 to the power of, and we get protonated form over unprotonated form equals 10 to the power of minus 1, and that is 0 0.1. And that, of course, is the same as 1 over 10. So we have, we have 10 times unprotonated form, and one part is in the protonated form. So I hope this makes sense, and thank you very much for watching. Thanks for watching and see you soon again at Biochem Snacks. Bye bye.